Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna react to Double Rainbow by Katy Perry. I saw this one requested a while ago, and for some reason the phrase Double Rainbow stuck out to me when I was looking over some of her tracks to react to. I feel like there was like a viral video a long time about, ago about a guy that saw a Double Rainbow, and I'm wondering if this is a song in response to that, if maybe they were quoting Katy Perry when they saw the double rainbow or if it's just a coincidence and they're not related at all. I don't know. It jumped out at me and I thought, let's find out. Uh, if you like what you see on my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support me further to keep the channel around long term, I have links in this video description for my Patreon and my Twitch Prime. Didn't find a music video, which is a bummer since I've really enjoyed her music videos, but we do have the song ready to go and the lyrics pulled up separately ready to go. So here we go. You're a one of a one, a one of a kind. That you only CG a minor F. once in a lifetime. Or a version of that. Like a fingerprint. A code that clicks open a gold mine. They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. When I found you, it was all. Secretly, I hit the lottery Cause you're brighter than all of the northern lights You speak to me even in my dreams Wouldn't let you go for even the highest price They say one man's trash is another girl's is this the chorus? treasure So if it's up to me, I'm gonna keep you forever now it's building. Cause I understand you. We see eye to eye. Like a double rainbow. And the sky. And wherever you go. So fly. Cause a double rainbow. It's hard to find. I don't think this has anything to do with that double rainbow video <laughs> still glad i checked it out all the same though um so let's see you're one of a one one of a kind that you only find once in a lifetime made to fit like a fingerprint a code that clicks open the gold mine i like those are good lyrics they say one man's trash is another man's treasure when i found you it was all pitter patter that's a pretty rough rhyme um but I like the sentiment. I think pitter-patter is like your heart starts to skip a beat or beat faster. Uh, secretly, I hit the lottery because you're brighter than all the northern lights. You speak to me even in my dreams. Wouldn't let you go for even the highest price. To say one man's trash is another girl's treasure. So if it's up to me, I'm going to keep you forever. Because I understand you. We see eye to eye like a double rainbow in the sky. So wherever you go, so will I. Because the double rainbow is hard to find. So I do like the imagery and I like the sentiment of, again, you know, uniqueness, rarity, and finding a connection or finding someone that you think you connect with, you know, on a deeper level. Um, again, you know, a double rainbow, you immediately get this, this imagery of bright, beautiful, loving uh, emotions. And uh, like I said, like double rainbow, side to side, in sync in my head they're like copy and paste you know what i mean it's not like one part of the rainbow is like yeah let's go and the other rainbow's like oh, i don't know man i guess like when she says the phrase double rainbow you picture the exact same rainbow twice and that's what she's trying to get at is is they are the same and yet they are unique was a phenomenon when you came along together make everything glitter cause I understand it's the earth
around a little bit before we get to the end here. Uh, had quite a few lyrics to go through. Um, I think melodically this is a really strong song and I really do like the cleverness of the lyrics of the comparisons of the uniqueness and the specialness. Um, I mean, I will say it seems like, and I, I, again, I've said it before in pop music, a lot of pop music is about relationships because you can identify with them. I'm just wondering, did she write this song based off of a real relationship or did she write this song because the album needs a love song. You know what I mean? Like it almost feels like it's time for another love song. Now, there are some artists that that's, that's all they write. You know what I mean? They're just known for ballads. Um, and if Katy Perry is one of them, then that's fine. I'm just, me, I'm sitting here, I'm enjoying the melody. I'm enjoying the cleverness of the lyrics and the imagery that it's giving me. But I'm asking myself, like, have you, have you, written another song about somebody that you actually um connected with or like like i said is it just it was time for the love song i'm curious about it as well um was a phenomenon when you came along yeah our chemistry was more than science it was deafening loud like lightning it was striking you couldn't deny it see those are good I like those lyrics. They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. The two of us together make everything glitter. I understand you, of course, again. To the bottom of the sea, I'd go to find you, climb the highest peak to be right beside you. Every step I take, I'm keeping you in mind. Yeah, for me, this is not... Um, maybe if I had heard this before some of the other love songs of Katy Perry, it would hit harder. But for me, I'm like, there's definitely better versions of this type of connection um, that I've heard specifically from her, let alone pop at large. Um, but I do really like, um, I think they're good lyrics here. Do I, have I asked, does she write her own lyrics or is it like a writing team? I don't know if I've asked that about her. Y'all have to let me know. Um, yeah, let's finish this one out. I like the melody and the lyrics. I'm just, I'm like, I can't feel like, I can't help this feeling that like even her herself has done a better love song. So it's like, why even write it again? Unless you fell in love again, which I don't know. And yet, we fall in love multiple times in a lifetime. We're getting a fade out on this one. Yeah, it might just be the order that you hear the song. Sim similar to my conundrum of um, the one that got away versus thinking of you, I think I'd pose the question, you know, which one hits you harder? And I kind of saw mixed uh in the comments where it was some people were like definitely thinking of you or definitely the one that got away or um they agreed that it might depend on the order that you hear the songs you might have a stronger connection to the one that you heard first like this is an older song this is from one of this is an album from hers from a couple of years ago and i think um never really over and never worn white are uh more recent songs that I think I might like more than this one. Um, but that doesn't mean this one's isn't but doesn't mean this one's bad. It just means I like those ones better. So for me as a creative person, I'm ask I'm asking myself like why would I make that movie again if I've already made it as good as I think I can make it. You know what I mean? Like if I've already written a badass love song I don't know, you know, the one who got away unconditionally, whatever, right? I, again, I don't remember the release order or how I'm hearing it versus what it came out in her discography. I don't have it in front of me. I look at it when I pick the song, but I don't have it in front of me right now. So I'm saying, I've already done that. Why would I do that again? Is it because I fell in love again? Is it because there's a, you know, there's a requirement from the fan base that I write these types of songs? I don't know. 
Yeah, so I'm curious about it. You have to let me know in the comments what your opinion is as far as how does this love song stack up against some of her other love songs? Do you agree that it matters which one you heard first? Or was this maybe based on another real life, you know, she fell in love again and was inspired to write another love song and it just happened to be when this album came out. I'm curious. I like the song, I just don't like it as much as some of her other love songs. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and yeah, let me know what other reaction requests you have for me on this channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.